You tell him I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me! Welcome to the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. And we are galloping into the season even further as we go into the second semester of college football. I consider college football have three semesters, September and slightly August, followed by October and then November, where the games are to remember, because that rhymes, and that's pretty cool, right? But, um, yeah, uh, today we're going to talk about college football projections. Already we got some out by CBS Sports, and uh, some of them I agree with. Some of them I don't, as I'm sure you will as well. But another thing we're going to talk about is a – a topic that was brought up by Athlon Sports and the fact that, you know, maybe Kirby Smart has done all he can do at Georgia, and maybe he's looking and has his sights on other endeavors. Let's talk about it. They come once again right on in. It's the Outlaw Posse now in effect. And today's four horsemen shout outs go to that Christian Fam Channel, Shane Moore, The Bomb, and Squidwater Mount Up Salad, and ready to go. And they're going to help us with today's College Football Invasion. And we got yet another new member as the Outlaw Posse continues to grow by leaps and bounds as Bay Sooner has now got his or her badge and is now deputized, and then the Outlaw Posse will receive a random Four Horsemen shout-out like the guys earlier did, as well as possibly be the comment of the day, which may be coming later in the show. I can also be reached on Twitter, a.k.a. X, at OCF Productions. Now getting right to it here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up those projections for you guys and gals right now. This comes from... CBS Sports. All right. And as you can see, they are still projecting Texas. Even though Alabama beat Georgia, they're still saying that they think Texas will get the number one seed and be placed in the Sugar Bowl. Uh, the number two seed will go to Ohio State in the Rose Bowl. Surprise, surprise. Always got to put the Big Ten in the Rose Bowl, huh? Peach Bowl. Um is projecting for number four seed, Utah. And at three, number three seed, I don't know why they switched those two up. Uh, they do realize that uh, three comes before four, right? But as the third seed, they have Miami in the Fiesta Bowl, those teams getting a bye. In the first round matchups, they have at Bryant Denny Stadium, Alabama versus Boise State, which I'm, I would love that. To be honest with you, I almost would rather not get a bye. Actually, I think it sucks that the top four teams, uh, their incentive is to get a bye when you get all this time off during December anyway. Uh, that's why I think they'll go to 16 teams because those top four seeds, uh, they're going to want to – they they would probably much rather have a home game, especially econ economically speaking, uh, for their local communities, because I know if there's a game to be played here at Brighton Any Stadium on December 20th, like they're saying, that would help out our economy here in Tuscaloosa immensely, especially for me, because I drive Uber on the side, so that would really help me out, because during the uh, <laughs> holiday season, all the students leave. But also, at Jack Trice Stadium, they have Iowa State versus Penn State in an 8-9 matchup. And then at Autzen Stadium, they're projecting Oregon versus Clemson. And then at Sanford Stadium, they're projecting, they're projecting Georgia versus the defending national champions, Michigan. Uh, so from that list right there, what do y'all agree with and what do y'all disagree with? And who would y'all put in? Who would y'all take out? Me, first of all, right now, and I'm not just saying this because I'm an Alabama fan, but right now, if you're projecting it right now, Seems to me Alabama looks like the better team than Texas right now. That doesn't mean that won't change in the next coming weeks. But right now, I'd put Alabama as a top seed and move Texas down to that five spot because you can't have 
two teams from the same conference get a get a uh, bye, which I think is stupid. They need to do away with uh, buys automatically going to conference champions because that doesn't mean you're getting the best four teams getting rewarded by be, by getting a buy or getting whatever a home game or whatever, man. All one gets rewarded is, is seats eight, five through eight. Now, Miami didn't look so hot to me against uh, Virginia Tech. As a matter of fact, they probably lost that game. They, they overturned a Hail Mary pass that was caught by Virginia Tech in the end zone. How they overturned it, I don't know, because it's supposed to be, um, without a shadow of a doubt, proof to overturn that, and it didn't look like without a shadow of a doubt to me. But regardless, Miami's still undefeated, but I don't think they'll stay that way. Uh, Clemson's been coming on. I think Clemson uh, may actually end up taking this spot from Miami, uh, the way Clemson is playing right now. Utah uh, just lost to um, Arizona, and they still got Utah as getting the uh, automatic qualifier from the Big 12, and I don't agree with that either, uh, considering BYU – and Texas Tech and Colorado and all those teams are right now they're ahead of Utah, but you know that could change and and maybe that's what they're maybe that's what they are predicting, and that could very well happen. I mean Utah could recover from that loss to Arizona. Uh, we shall see. Me personally, I think they should have put BYU here. I've been saying all along that if BYU ever got a major college um, label, a major college conference label, to support their brand that they could be a sleeping giant they were the last actual what you would consider a g5 non-power four conference team to win a national championship in 1984 no i don't count notre dame because they're really not like a g5 they're not in the power four conference but technically they are because half they're halfway in the acc and halfway out but uh yeah i would have had byu up there as far as these other projections the Boise State thing, the uh, the uh, automatic qualifier from the G5, uh, I could see Boise State getting that spot, but I could also see James Madison and UNLV in the mix for that as well. UNLV lost their quarterback to some controversial NIL bullshit, but um, they recovered nicely and played lights out in their last game and didn't miss a beat. I think they won something like 59-14. to 14. Uh, so in this spot, I would probably have put in UNLV or James Madison. If you had to narrow it down, if you had to put me in a corner, um, I would probably take James Madison uh, versus Alabama, which would be odd, but, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Penn State and Iowa State, um, the Big 12 getting two teams in, uh, that could be possible. I don't know for sure, but I really agree with that. I haven't really sat down and looked at the Big 12 as a whole. Um, and Iowa State schedule. Oregon and Clemson, I can agree with both of those teams being in there. Georgia versus Michigan, not so much. Uh, Georgia, of course, will be in there, I think. But Michigan, uh, although they ride the ship somewhat and have won a couple of games and beat USC, which made my heart feel all good. Um I just don't know if Michigan's still where they quite need to be in order to get that other spot. It would not surprise me if maybe the Skittle Shooters turned it around a little bit. They did come back and beat Wisconsin last week. And if maybe USC snuck in there. Also, I mean, there's there's other numerous teams. I mean, the Big Ten's not automatically uh, – destined to get two spots, although they'll probably tell you they deserve two spots, uh, saying that maybe they're the first or second best conference in the nation, which I don't agree with. Um, you got to watch out for Indiana and Rutgers, too, man. I mean, right now they may be fool's gold. We shall see very soon with Indiana and Rutgers. Now let's move on to uh, the other topic that's got a lot of people pissed off over in Athens. And this has been reported by Athens Sports. So this ain't some fly-by-night crap uh, that you could just say, oh, it's just a rumor. Athlon Sports is reporting legendary college football coach named top candidate for Cowboys job. Dallas' last two Super Bowl winning coaches came from college, which is not usually the norm on most 
instances, but a lot of people have this stigma about college coaches thinking that they can't go in and win NFL titles, but it can be done. Jimmy Johnson done it. Barry Switzer done it. And uh, Pete Carroll done it. So <sighs> Georgia Bulldogs are one of the best teams in college football yet again this season, which begs the question whether legendary coach Kirby Smart might be ready for a new challenge. I don't know if it's too, uh, so much as a new challenge. Is maybe he's tired of chasing his old tail there. Uh, pun intended, chasing that bulldog tail, uh, trying to get to Alabama. Uh, Kirby has an Alabama problem. He was here at Alabama for eight or nine years. You'd think he would have been able to learn how to beat us. But, uh, yeah, he's one in six against Alabama, and Georgia is a program overall. It's one in nine against Alabama the last ten games. Uh, so, you know, he's already won two national titles. Now, if he hadn't won a national title or two, I'd say, man, he probably ain't going to leave. But he could use that to say, hey, look, I've done what I set out to do. I did win two national titles, and I did beat Alabama for one of those national titles. So it's not like I didn't beat Alabama. I did beat them. And this could just be the next progression and step for Kirby Smart in his career just to, you know, scratch that itch. And a lot of legendary coaches have done it. So for Georgia fans that come in here saying, oh, no, 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 Kirby would never do that, Kirby – uh, loves Georgia and he wants to be in college football and blah, 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 and all that stuff. Believe me, the coaches, they may tell you that, but in the back of their mind, the uh, epitome of football for everybody that plays football is to be in the NFL in some capacity. I don't think Kirby Smart ever made it as an NFL player. So as a coach, he could scratch that itch a little bit. Nick Saban done it, didn't succeed. Steve Spurrier done it. It didn't succeed either. Um, numerous coaches have done it. Some of them have succeeded, some of them not. Pete Carroll, like I said before, Jimmy Johnson, Barry Switzer, they all succeeded. So don't fool yourself, Georgia people, into thinking that he won't do this. You know, Nick Saban, they thought he was happy at LSU. He ended up going to Miami. Same thing with Pete Carroll. Everybody thought he was satisfied with USC. And what he had done there, he won two national championships. One of them was taken away, uh, but I think they're going to give that back eventually. Uh, but, yeah, it could definitely happen. And what if that does happen? Where does Georgia go? That would be a great podcast in, of, uh, in and of itself. If Georgia were to lose Kirby Smart, that – would really probably send the Georgia Bulldog Nation into a tailspin because they feel like now that Nick Saban's gone, that they can finally take the mantle, which we found out last Saturday. Uh, that's not so much the case. Uh, it's not automatically given that Georgia's going to take over. And hell, Georgia may lose two or three more games for the season's over because their, their schedule is very difficult. But you guys and gals, drop in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all this. Tell me what you think about the uh, – playoff projections, and tell me if you think that Kirby Smart may indeed be considering going to the NFL. That's all I got to say about that. There's a little heart option down here. If you want to smash that heart, it's got a little money dollar sign in the middle. Smash that heart, throw a few dollars in the coffers. Also, you can join the Outlaw Posse for two ninety nine a month. That's just 75 cents a week. That's just a half a bottle of water for the Outlaw. And you'll get your badge. You'll get deputized. You'll get a random four horseman shadows possibly be the comment of the day like share comment and subscribe to this channel that's the big four and they're all absolutely free kmca to all the other teams class is now officially dismissed <laughs>